Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, next step next episode on how to use uh, Origin to plot by graph. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, make a bar plot, a bar graph plot. And uh, using this example, where I have uh, the x axis to be fruits, and then I have a y axis to be uh, size, and uh, another y axis to be uh, unit. So notice here that I have two y axis, and I do this specifically to show you how to make a stack plot in the same uh, video because it's just basically the same thing, just a little tweak or slight tweak will make a difference. So if you're just going to pl uh, plot a simple bar graph where you uh, have uh, just uh, um, columns, for example, so let's take this. So I'll select the uh, first two columns, so AX and BY, and make sure that uh, the, 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 the first one, which is the Usually it's just like a string of characters. Uh, make sure that it is uh, x and then the the values uh, that you want to plot should be the, the y. So in this case I'm looking at fruit. So I have all the fruits from apple to kiwi and then I'm plotting against the uh, size. So I have from 6 centimeter to 3 centimeter. So after selecting these two columns, you go ahead to the plot and then uh, click on plot. So you go to the column or bar slash pi, which is this, and then you can select uh, column. Okay, so you select column, and then you have this. So basically, what this does is that it plots the uh, the size of the fruit versus the fruits, which is from apple to kiwi. Now let's go back to the book. So we also have another column, which is the units or the number of the uh, items, in this case, the fruit. Okay, so I will select that as well by uh, clicking the control button or the command button on your PC or your computer. So I selected a three column. But in this case, um, I want to plot them as stack. Okay, so you go to plot and then you go to column and then you plot stack. So here you have the uh, stack column and you have a stack bar. I want them to be columns, okay? So I'll plot uh, columns. If you want them to be stack bar, you take a uh, stack bar. But for this video, I'm showing you how to uh, plot the stacked column. So you select the stacked column. And once you do that, you have this, okay? So having this, you uh, can make some changes. The first change I'll make is that this column, this uh, label will no longer be size because when you look at the legend we have here, the black is representing the size of the fruit, which is uh, six centimeter for the apple, about five centimeter for orange, and about uh, most like three centimeter for kiwi. And then the unit, which is the number of the fruits, it's uh, uh, 15 for apple, uh, 15 for orange as well. So that makes this label to be uh, irrelevant in this case. So I'll just go ahead and delete this label. So to delete, you just uh, click on the label and then you just uh, delete it. So you can, you know, you, you, if you don't want to delete it and you want to keep it, you can just change it to uh, something that will. Uh, represent these uh, two values or these two uh, parameters combined together but uh, for this kind of plot it's okay just to uh, have it the way it is in as much as I have the legend uh, which will make it easy for the uh, viewer to understand all right uh, so I want to change this black to blue uh, you can change to any color you want as a matter of fact but I just want to change it to blue uh, so I will have to change this edit mode to independent as the way it is right now is dependent so if I change the color of one the other one change automatically so I want to make uh, it to become independent so I can be able to change the color uh, independently so go to this one actually I have to close click OK and close it so then I can select independently 
So selecting this, I want to change this to blue. So you double click this, and then you can go to um, to the pattern, and then I want to change the color to blue. So I'm going to select this to the blue, and click apply to make sure it's changed. So well, oh, so this changed the border rather. Okay, so let's just uh, change the color. This is the fuel color. So this is for the border. You can see it only changed the the border. So I'll keep this as black pack, it makes no difference, but just uh, change the fill to blue and then this will change here. Like you can see, it's already changed here. Uh, you can change any color you want by just like uh, the red and the blue. It's makes the figure look so pretty, I feel, just my personal opinion. So uh, right now you have your stack uh, column. And then you can make several other modifications like you want. Whatever you want to do, you can go ahead. Um, a lot of times I don't like to have the, the label on the x-axis like this, especially in some situations where the names are longer. Right here is fine. They are evenly spaced and easy to read and uh, understand what is happening that okay this belongs to apple and the size is the blue and then the red is the number of units but in some other cases this may be uh quite difficult to do unless you expand the the x-axis to be able to accommodate the, the label so in that kind of situation i'll just explain it right away here for you to get it in case you run into it in future what i usually do is just to uh, put the label just right here and that is why you like to use the red and the blue because whenever you put a label on these colors it's easier for you to uh, be able to read the label or for somebody else to read the label especially when the label is white so i'll show you an example so let's assume that i want to uh i don't want the axis i don't want to i want i don't want to uh, put the the labels on the x-axis and i want it on the columns so i'll just uh pick uh, maybe apple as an example so I'll go to text, okay, take the text tool, and write Apple, okay. So I have Apple here, okay. So now Apple, I will just click it one time, then right click, and go to properties, okay. So I will uh, rotate this by to 90 degree, okay, drag it down double click it uh, select all by ctrl a and then change color to white okay right here you have apple okay and you can put it nowhere you still be able to read it looks visible you can put it here here so in a situation where you have a very long name maybe for instance if you have a Let's say about abracadabra as an example. Okay, I'll just uh, select this and uh, control paste. So I'll just change this to um, abracadabra. You can change this to black whenever you're typing, just for you to see what you're typing. Okay, so you can see now it's disappeared. I cannot see. Anyway, I'll select copy. I'm going to put it as black so that I will be able to see it. And I'm typing abracadabra. So you can see if you try to put, let me uh, change the orientation to uh, zero. So you see what I'm saying. If you want to put that kind of word here, it's really lengthy I know to make this uh, plot to look clustered. So the best thing is to put that kind of word on the column. Okay. So let's just uh, replace this properties to 90 degree and click OK. Then uh, change this to white. Okay. So you can see it's really neat and nice um, and uh, it looks great. So let me just uh, do the same thing for everything and show you something nice. Uh, I usually do it for my plot to make it look more professional. Then Ctrl copy, Ctrl V. So you can always do this to save a lot of time. 
replica. Okay. Paste. Change this to pineapple. Copy. This. You change this to kiwi. Okay. So when I do this, I would change the x-axis. Just turn it off. Turn off these labels. Okay. I'll remove the tick. Remove tick. Uh, change this to none. The major tick you change to none. The minor tick you change to none as well. So you basically remove this tick whenever you click apply. And then you know click OK. Remove the labels. Then you click on them once and then click delete. The same thing, you click on this once and you click delete. Alright. So um, then you can come here. I usually like to format my plot as square. So you go to, let me show you again. I like to make it look like a square. So you come here to format and then you change page property. So it will make the figure to be uh, the same size, length and breadth. So change this to 10.72. And then, like you know, I don't really like this. Um, this box around the legend so if to change that or to turn it off you just click on it once and then you come to this pencil sign and you change it to white so it removes it okay and uh, then uh, I will also like to mirror my axis it's kind of like you know have this um, box I'll show you what I mean so a shortcut to do that is to come here and just press this so it puts a mirror immediately but then you have to turn off all the stick like you can see it's not equivalent to the one you have you can adjust it to be equivalent but it's just a waste of time uh, for this situation so I'll click delete this just uh, select them and then delete click once delete click delete delete so then I will change this Turn off all the ticks, double click them. So you go to line and tick, change to uh, none, and then none. So I also like the thickness to be three. And uh, I'll select the right. I turn that off as well. None, none, change thickness to three. Click OK. So you come to the left, double click. Go to line and ticks, select uh, thickness to be 3, select uh, length to be 15. In this case, we want the labels or the, the line ticks and their labels because then that is what we'll use to determine the size and the units of the fruits. Then you come to bottom and uh, select 3. We've already turned it up and then uh, there's no point putting the length of the tick so you just click ok and here we are so then you can I like this to be 28 makes it more legible and uh, yeah and the same for the labels here as well so you can change this uh, let's see just put 28 let's see what it looks like I usually don't do it this way but it works so 28. Okay, so that is how to make a, a bar graph in um, whole region. So you can also change the size of your label if you want them to be big, maybe 28. Usually I like my text to be 28. Okay, so I'll just select all of them and make them 28. Okay, makes sense? Yeah. So yeah, that is the uh, end of this uh, video. Uh, you will basically just need to maybe uh, save this as uh, JPEG. So go to Open Dialog, and then um, you can go from there to save it in any file that you want as a JPEG file. Okay. So that's the end of this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you find this uh, video useful and if you need me to make a specific uh, video on how to do 
uh, something with origin or to plot something with origin also please hit the like and uh, subscribe button uh, so that the YouTube algorithm will be able to uh, bring this uh, video up whenever somebody else uh, search for it and please remember uh, to subscribe to my channel to get uh, like a lot of uh, new videos whenever I upload them. See you next time.